Today we're going to be making a Stirling Engine candle stand. It's going to be roughly the size to fit a candle that's about this size. We've got our plans here, available at jeplans.com. We're going to attach those with some masking tape. Put the masking tape down first and attach the plans. This is an old computer case. Um, normally I'd attach the metal to um, like a quarter inch piece of plywood, but I don't have any that size. So we'll just cut it straight out of here. It's a little harder. Uh, computer cases also make good stock for making uh, flywheels, different fans and stuff for the uh, Sterling engines. All right, we're gonna try and cut the sheet into more manageable pieces of the bandsaw. Alright, here we have the pieces. I cut them down. Once they're cut down, I had some small enough scraps to mount uh, scrap uh, plywood to mount them on. Drilled out all the holes. Now I'll do the interior, cu interior cuts on the scroll saw first, then cut out the larger piece, and uh, we'll be able to assemble the stand. cut out. They're painted on one side because it was a computer case. So what I'll do is I'll just take and I'll sand the paint off with the, my hand sander. And we'll assemble it. Alright, we have them all cut out, sanded off. Essentially they'll connect together. Something like that. This put it all together and see how it works. It's the first assembly, so. A little bit. That'll be the. We can bend those a little bit if we want at this point. I'm going to leave them unbent because I think I will want to disconnect it. It will be easier for storage. So this can only go on one way. Let me see if I... Okay. You see these tabs rotate in to interlock. Just a minute. I'm gonna put my gloves on here and try a little harder. There. Ooh. Oops. I'm try not to bend it funny like. So I'm gonna stand. Try her out. 